Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read and write data from to MySQL using Apache Spark. Firstly, we're going to need a Docker desktop installed. It. Secondly, we're going to need a local Apache Spark environment configured. And the last one, we need a Visual Studio Code with PySpark installed and configured. And then we also need the extensions, PySpark and MySQL. If you don't have about configured ready, please see my previous video for details. That's the command to doc, uh, download the Docker uh, MySQL 8. And those are script uh, I using to set up a database, new database, and the user's account. After Docker MySQL been set up, we need to download the connector, JDBC driver. Let's get the MySQL A first. Docker. It's up running, so we can connect to it. We first need to get inside of the Docker to create a new database. Let's go execute using root user. It's right to mode. It's gonna be ID. Gosh. Account. That's what cool slot host We're going to create another account. We just copy from the deck. Database first. Database. And user, new user. Okay, and then grant permission to that user. And refresh the permissions. Looks good. Okay, new user has been created. So back to the uh, MySQL extension. That's a MySQL extension. If we if you didn't install it, just click install. I'm mean, installed here, so I don't want to click those. Go that little lower MySQL. New one. Your name. We're going to use a new create account. Password. Connect. Yeah, sales table. Sales database table is empty. So we're going to download a JDBC driver and then we write some data, write a table to sales database. Next slide. So we download the JDBC driver from here, this link. This link. You're gonna download this one, archive file. Once you download, you need to unzip it. So I just download here. Download this one. Double click, double click. Copy this jar file to a Spark folder. C drive. Spark. Jar. This guy. Cool. Let's start it. You. Uh, let's see, cool. I see you're going to need the import. So create a spark session. Spark. Thank you. 
Sigrun and great. Let's make it look nice. It's fixed signing alert to alert missing module dark string. Find a new line missing. missing. is going to write okay, back to my civil database. How about now? Looks good. So in order to talk to the my SQL, we're gonna need some uh, parameters. So first there will be the driver. We're gonna have a my SQL. JDBC driver. My SQL. Capital D. My SQL server. Host. If you don't know, just go here. Go to the new one. Find those details. SQL DB name. If you don't know, go to that. Slides, then new user's name. I SQL password. Same, we're going to find the, find the password. Here. So that's the password for root account root. Password same. So we cannot create a method. Right. Let's see any alert? Yes. It's all right. Okay, let's give it. And what else? We're gonna need it. Answer is to write the for my signal. No. Cool. So we need to read some data so we can write back. We're just using a simple uh, a file from Apache Spark a resource that for Spark read. Let's give a JSON file. Let's go people. Uh, maybe employee. Open log first. Yeah, looks good. Running. Maybe issue here. Unnecessary. 
Uh, Michael. Yeah. So looks good. So we can pause the arrow here. Taking space lines too long. Taking space. Yeah, should we put now? Okay, we're going to employees, right? Oh, okay, we're going to make it nice. So we're going to pass some parameters. Option, JDBC driver, URL, table, username, password. Gonna make a URL as well. Expression, sorting, name. So maybe a MySQL connection to see my table details. Uh, Java my sequel Java oh. Oh. So, uh, Java slash you are DB table employee slash users name I single users name password. Let's give a go. One space for that. Uh, what else? Yeah, looks good. Give a go. Let's connect my SQL fresh. Yeah, tables there. We can see some some data here. Let's do it again. 
cut. Yeah, four. Four, cool. We're gonna do, uh, yeah. So we're gonna read this table as well. So we're gonna make a nicer, put in here. And, oh, sorry. F, the frame. Read. The same thing will be similar. Spark. Remember, oh, I just copy, maybe just copy it. Everything the same. It's definitely the same. Slow. Let's show. Cool, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Let's make a nicer. I have another method. Let's go. Read from a sequel. And it is part. Yeah, everything is here. I use this part. But did we see? Oh, we're gonna have first the return. We're gonna have the if is equal method. Many arrows three tiny. This is a function. This method is going to root from. I see what do. Okay. Yeah, cool. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for your watching. If you like this video, please hit the below like button and subscribe. Cool. See you, everyone.